एक सच्ची और ऑलरेडी सिद्ध हो चुकी बात से शुरू करते हैं देर इज नो फील्ड दैट इंजीनियर्स कांट मास्टर सो डोंट लेट योर इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच कम बिटवीन यू एंड योर पैसन अब इसके एग्जाम्पल में आपको यूपीएससी निकालने वाले इंजीनियर्स सुशांत सिंह राजपूत जैसे एक्टर्स या फिर कई सारे पॉपुलर यूट्यूबर्स और अपनी ब्रांच से परे जाके काम करने वाले सुंदर पिचई जैसे लोग मिल जाएंगे हेंस यू कैन अकम्पलिस और लॉर्ड ड्यूरिंग योर फोर इयर्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बिकमिंग अ कॉन्फिडेंट इंडीड अ वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट इंडिविजुअल लेट्स इनिशिएट द डिस्कशन ऑन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड द वेरियस पॉसिबिलिटीज यू कैन एक्सप्लोर बियॉन्ड दिस फील्ड वाइल परसुइंग योर ग्रेजुएशन इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग तो यार एवरी क्वाइन हैज टू साइड एंड हियर वी विल टॉक अबाउट द ब्राइट साइड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन फैक्ट द ब्राइट साइड ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इट सेल्फ आई नो मैनी इंजीनियर्स आर स्ट्रगलिंग बट अदर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट स्ट्रगल एज वेल एंड आई बिलीव डेट द इंजीनियरिंग डिग्री नॉट ओनली मेक्स यू अकेडमिकली वेल प्रिपेयर बट ऑल्सो इक्विप्स यू टू हैंडल एक्सट्रीम प्रेशर एंड इनेबल्स यू टू साइन अंडर इट एक ही सेमेस्टर में दो सेशनल्स और एग्जाम निकालना इतनी सारी क्लासेस लैब्स अटेंड करना और एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज पे ध्यान देना रातों रात असाइनमेंट्स कंप्लीट करना कोर्सेस पूरे करना और सब्जेक्ट से हटके भी काफी कुछ एक्सप्लोर करना इन जस्ट फोर मंथ्स ऑफ टाइम इज नॉट अ जोक सो इफ यू आर एन इंजीनियर यू कैन अचीव एनी थिंग बिकॉज इट इज इन योर जीन्स टू वर्क हार्ड हैंडल प्रेशर एंड ट्राइव अंडर इट अंडरस्टैंड योर स्ट्रेंथ एंड डोंट लेट योअर चूज एन ब्रांच स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम अचीविंग योर पैसन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इट इज द थर्ड मोस्ट प्रिफर्ड ब्रांच आफ्टर कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स आवर डिस्कशन विल बी इन फोर स्टेप्स फर्स्ट What electrical offers relevant and non-relevant courses as per present time. Second one will be on emerging things in core electrical side. Third one will be how to stable you outside electrical branch. And fourth one will be future scopes and all types of opportunities for all engineers. So let's start with B Tech. In the first year of B Tech, courses such as engineering, mathematics, mechanics, basic electronics, engineering, physics, chemistry, and others are there. This coursework is common across all engineering branches, including. electrical in the second year of btech fundamental electrical subjects are introduced such as network theory electromagnetic field digital electronics analog electronics and signals and systems i am leaving out measurements these are valuable courses applicable to all kinds of electrical related branches whether it's electrical engineering electrical and electronics engineering or electronics and communication engineering or ec with vlsi specialization so focus on mastering these basic subjects solve problems and become proficient in them as they are essential for various jobs in core electrical and electronics side moving to the third year of btech subjects like electrical machines power systems control systems power electronics are bred to the forefront for electrical engineers these are core electrical subjects and excluding electrical vehicles or electronics power system represents somewhat saturated field nevertheless this subjects demand a significant investment of your time as well in the final year advanced power systems electrical drives advanced signal processing power system labs and a few more subjects are available as electives some colleges offer updated electives catering to current trends while many colleges stick to traditional options with less flexibility since you have chosen electrical engineering so power system basics are important but making advanced power system and switch gear and protection type subjects optional could provide more flexibility power system would be beneficial only for students aspiring to pursue a masters or phd in this domain basically power system research enthusiast so little bit flexibility can save a lot of time for student who want to pursue some other domain it is important to note that educational approaches will evolve over time and currently academics might be somewhat inflexible and outdated now let's go to the second discussion point of video so speaking of emerging fields in core electrical electrical vehicles means evs are currently the most promising however achieving expertise in this field requires a combination of core electrical computer science mechanical and electronics knowledge the challenge for electrical engineers is how to manage academics well and at the same time prepare for placements as well to approach this let's explore the opportunities available to engineers helping you choose a path and develop strategies accordingly i am dividing opportunities into four steps core electrical private jobs government jobs 
PSUs, other corporate jobs. Usually, core electrical private jobs or PSUs are the aims for enthusiastic electrical students or passionate students for electrical side only. So, PSUs offer good packages but often come with remote locations and limited availability. To secure a PSU job, aim for getting a rank under 500 in GATE. So, for PSUs, GATE electrical preparation would be enough. But PSUs offer hardly 500 jobs in a year. So, the remaining students have to find something else and here comes the prominent core electrical companies like Havels, Crompton, Tata, l and and they seek candidates with power system knowledge. Similarly companies like NXP, Texas, ST Microelectronics and Microchip require power electronics engineers and various other companies are also there I am naming just few. So these companies predominantly recruit from top tier colleges offering attractive packages. On the other hand service based companies engage in on campus placements for tier 3 college students with comparative lower packages. For electrical enthusiasts from tier 3 colleges, entering top tier product based companies may require NACL compromises in terms of salary because they have to join service based company and get a experience and then shift to product based company. And adding one more point, these jobs demand electrical theoretical knowledge as well as familiarity with tools like MATLAB, PSCAT or similar software for simulation and analysis of electrical circuits. So now we are done with PSU and core electrical private jobs. So for all these type of jobs you will require core electrical knowledge or gate electrical syllabus and PSU jobs are very less in numbers. On the other hand, core electrical jobs are there but most of the product based companies hire from top colleges. So only service based companies remains for tier 3 college students and they have to settle on lower packages for initial few years before shifting to product based company. Now shifting towards third possibility, government jobs. So government jobs is another option for electrical engineers or any engineer. This can be UPSC, SSC or banking exams. Since as an engineer a student is ex exposed to very heavy academic curriculum. So reading few more subjects become very easy for him. They can clear any government exam. In fact, they clear all the government exams in most numbers, whether it's UPSC, banking or anything. You can check the stats, mostly engineers are there. They literally outperform art, commerce students in all these fields. Despite no core subjects as GK, history, geography is in engineering curriculum. That is the most bright side of engineering as it prepares you to fight with any situation. I don't have that much knowledge about preparation strategies of government jobs, but yes, this can be an option. So if you have realized that you don't want to do PSU or core electrical jobs, then start as, as soon as possible during your engineering time. Now we will go into our fourth category, core private jobs other than electrical. These can involve software jobs requiring computer science knowledge and second one relates to electronics jobs which can be VLSI job, embedded system job, signal processing or machine learning related job or communication related job all requiring electronics knowledge. Let's discuss both of these paths individually. For those open to diverse learning and seeking quick options, IT jobs are a viable choice. Abundant content and roadmaps are freely available on YouTube for CS job preparation. Some examples are Apna College, Code with Harry and many more. Follow any channel based on your understanding and complete the preparation. Once ready, start applying to various companies for intern or facer positions and find the opportunities by visiting career site of companies. Now on to core electronics job, a market that ranks second after IT jobs currently. With the rise of machine learning, electric vehicles, embedded systems and electronics in daily life including ISRO's use of chips, electronics dominance is assured. The field demands versatile knowledge, patience, reading skills, hardware expertise, analytical thinking and software proficiency. Various domains within electronics requires different skill sets while fundamentals remain constant for each type of job and advanced knowledge varies according to the domain and takes time to acquire. I have created detailed videos on electronics VLSI and electronics embedded jobs offering clearer insights. I will also be covering signal processing, communication, artificial intelligence and machine learning related domains soon. So that's the story of any engineering branch. It is the most versatile and challenging degree. Make fully use of your engineering time. Make a purpose as soon as your engineering time starts. And all the best to all fellow aspirants. All questions are welcome. Do comments and keep exploring electronics.